All right, today's it's going to be a really simple, another unscripted tutorial here. It's going to basically just be a new <clears throat> version of my doors tutorial on where I explained how to make um, Fortnite doors in the uh, Unreal Editor for Fortnite, like make your own. Um, but this is going to be all types of buildings, so floors, stairs, um, walls, doors. So there's going to be a few things you're going to need to know how to do. I'm not going to be explaining anything audio related here. I'm not going to be explaining anything material related here. I'm just going to be sticking exclusively to the blueprints and I guess the settings you'll want for the meshes. Um, really just whatever I feel like including. It's just a simple tutorial. Um, so obviously the first thing you're going to want is meshes. So I'll go ahead and get mine real quick. All right, so I've gone ahead and I've gotten my static meshes here. Um, so I've got, these will be for the balcony that I'm gonna do. These will be for the door that I'm gonna do. Um, floor is pretty sim uh, similar to balcony. There's just a few differences. This is super, simpler, uh, super similar to wall to a wall but it has the additional door component so if you can figure out how to do, do a door you can also figure out how to do a wall so to start we're gonna start with our blueprint or our hitboxes rather so to check if you already have a hitbox what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to hit show simple collision and if that's checked and there's nothing here then you don't have any collision you're gonna want to add some so if it's something simple like this you can do add box simplified and it just adds a box that encompasses the whole thing um, or you can go through the trouble of looking through F model getting all the collision coordinates and then asking something like chat GPT to make it into text that you can paste into um, into the editor down here um, additionally what you can do is if it's not that easy for you and I'll explain that in a bit since this is fine we can just close this out after we save it this is also just a box, so we can add box simplified again, and that'll be fine. You can see it's a little off right here, but that doesn't matter. It's close enough. It's not going to matter. Um, uh, we, so, for something that you can't just do box for like this, what you could also do is you could go down here, you can go to comp collision complexity, and you can switch this to use complex as simple. It's not super visible here, or actually, I haven't hit show simple collision. And you can see the collision of the object for when you click on it, whereas it's in editor, will become your in-game collision. That's just what we're going to do for here because I don't feel like grabbing the collision. And then for this store, we can add... We can just add box simplified. We can change our scale snap to something like 0.1. If we want, we want to keep this small. There we go. That's really what we want. We can go ahead and save that. Close it out. Next, we're gonna want to do our blueprints. So we're gonna want to hit. You're gonna want to hit. You're gonna want to hit right click to open this. You're gonna want to hit blueprint class. When it brings the screen up, you're gonna go to actor, building actor, building static mesh, and then here you're gonna have these different options. So for the door, we're gonna go to building wall. There's parent building wall. So you can double click on this, and here's all these different options. So. We're just going to do gray box door CC. And we can just name that whatever. It doesn't really matter. Um, and this is all these settings. What you want to do is you're going to want to change this door mesh to your door mesh. So we're going to use the harvest homes door. And then we're going to want to switch the wall mesh to the doorway mesh. This mesh. We're going to compile it. Save it. It's here. Now you're going to see this isn't exactly where it needs to be so you can go close on out of this and 
that's where you're going to want the offset settings. So if the door's not in the files anymore, you're going to want to do this through something like F model, and you're going to want to look up the blueprint and see what the settings are. If it is in the files, like this door we're using, which is the Harvest Homes door, which is used for Slappy Shores, the Eclipse locations, and uh, just some more Chapter 4 stuff, you can go to Fortnite, and you can go just search the door that you're looking for. And if it's here, if you have it anywhere else, you can just drag it out into the world, go to details, and then there's going to be some settings here, like a door offset, we're going to copy by shift right click, and then we're going to go back to our blueprint, and we're going to just shift left click it here, so here it is open the full blueprint editor to see that oh, there will be a few settings that are different these are all the same so you don't need to change any of those you can obviously get the audio cues from something like F model the next thing we're gonna want to do is gonna be our like making this destructible and making this drop resources so this right here, if you scroll down, it says resource, resource type. This is the resource that will be dropped when you like hit the door with your pickaxe. So this can be really anything that you want it to be. We're just gonna stick with, we'll do stone, save that. And then the next thing you're gonna wanna do is attribute initialization keys. These, so these, if you're making a wall, will default to building wood too. Now since we're doing um, building stone, we can go down and do building stone. You can shift right click that, paste it here, compile, save. What this is, is this is basically the health pool. Each of these have a different amount of health that your blueprint will have in world. So this is what the average stone building is, is building stone too. But again, you can go, I think there's a spreadsheet out there somewhere of all of the different health pools. And as you can see, this will snap in world like a wall would. And I should say, if you want to do this with a wall and not a door, it's really simple because all you have to do is when you do new blueprint, you go in here, actor, building actor, building static mesh, and then you just have to hit building wall and select it. So that's how you do a door. Uh, I'll go put the clip of this working in game All right, after this. But the, the one thing I want to say is, this isn't by default going to have cracks appear on it. Like that crack overlay that's on um, uh, normal Fortnite buildings, where when you hit it with your pickaxe or shoot it, it, it'll gradually become more cracked the less health it has. Because that's done in the material. And again, I'm not explaining materials for this. Next, we're going to do the balcony. So. For this, you can go again back to Blueprint Class, Actor, Building Actor, Building Static Mesh Actor, and you could just do Floor. If you're going to do Standard Floor, you can just do Building Floor. Or, if you're doing Stairs, you can go here and you can select Building Stairs, and there's all these options, and you can preview them like this. When you select it, it'll show you what type of stair you're looking at with the gray box. Well, that's what it's intended for, basically, is what the gray box mesh is. Um, but we're not doing that, so we're just going to force delete that. Go back to new blueprint class, actor, building actor, building static mesh. Okay. So, it should be S rail C. That's what we're trying to make, as you can see here. In here. We have this, we're going to change our mesh to our balcony mesh. Now, since we have a wall we want to use, we're going to add a new static mesh. And if your railing has a built-in, or if, you're, if your balcony has a built-in railing, it's fine. But we're just using the block out quarter wall mesh, because I have this for Relentless Retreat. We're just going to drag it over there. Again, it doesn't look amazing. We can maybe just drop it down here, whatever. 
but it doesn't really matter. This is just for the showcase, so I don't care. So here it is. Then you're gonna go back up to the blueprint itself, and obviously you're gonna wanna do whatever resources and health pools you want. So this is gonna be building stone too, and again, we're gonna copy and paste that, compile it, save it. And if you want, you can always obviously just rename these either by right clicking or hitting rename or just by hitting F2. And we're just gonna do BP balcony 01. And for door, we're just gonna do BP door 01. So both of these will work in game. I'll show how they grid snap in game and how they break in game. That should basically be it. You can obviously go if you're gonna to want to build your own that I didn't go over in this. You can obviously go back here, building actor, building static mesh. And this is there's auto nav here, which I really don't know what this is. I haven't done this yet. This pillar here is an option. Um but obviously there's floor, roof, wall, floor has stairs and balconies in it wall has walls and doors in it and roof is just roofs it's pretty much like stairs or even sometimes floors but just used for different things i think that's mainly for the player built roofs like the cone that said now i'm going to go launch a session and show this in game